Hey everyone, it is Char from Char's Fashion Nation, and here today, I know I'm a day late on this, but again, I at least I'm here, and I did promise you this, I am keeping my promise, and I also promised that I would do this year's regalia, which will be worn next year, unfortunately. Um, because, let, let me get my water real quick. And light a candle, because we need some, like, beautiful energy in here. Um... for my friend Sun City Soaps and Candles. And let me grab my water. And, of course, my uh, lotion by my friends from Sun City Soaps and Candles. Uh, which, of course, you know, I will leave my link, as always. Which will show up before I do this. It always does. Um, and I, I'm not mad at that. And that's flying. Um, and my one of a kind candle over there. And uh, get this going. I have my microphone. So I hope that helps sound. Uh, I had my coffee, bagel, cream cheese to get my day going. I will move the mouse. Don't worry about that. The mouse will be moved. Okay. Now, I have the fabric folded over for a reason. Um, but then I will fold it again. Because um, I'm realizing, okay, I laid this out, but then I'm going to need to lay it out again. So, um, what I can do is take the fabric because I have it here. I have three yards laid out. So in total, this is going to take about six yards of fabric. That's actually not too bad instead of 10 yards. Now, if you want to know what this is, the fabric that I got from Sam's Fabric when they were in business. Um, this is the western denim and dirt for blank quilting corporation 2016 of the buffalo although there's no buffalo on it but i do however love the design it is a beautiful design. I will give it that. Um, now, I have at least, I know I have more than three yards of this laid out on the table. So what I can do in retrospect to that is just go ahead and lay this out again. And we can just do that. And my specific reason for purchasing this one um, was exactly for making my regalia. Just toss that measuring tape over there. Um, and that's why I'm glad I had the chance to get this when they were going out of business. So... It's sad that they went out of business. I really wish they hadn't. But when a uh, fabric store goes out of business, sometimes you have the opportunity. And Bernadette Banner knows this well. When you have the chance, when a fabric store is going out of business, you have the chance to grab things at a bargain. So 
sometimes they'll let you take things at a bargain and sometimes they'll you know they'll barter with you I did not have to barter lucky me I told them how much money I was bringing them and they let me make stacked piles of fabric they just let me stack piles of fabric and I got at least a thousand dollars worth of fabric for two hundred dollars now tell me that's not a deal if that's not a deal I don't know what is <laughs> sure is a thrifty person if you can't get a thousand dollars worth of fabric for two hundred dollars there's something wrong with you um i'm just saying so what i'm gonna do <laughs> um yeah um is go ahead and take the end of this and um find the other end where i cut which is at the end of the table, by the way. So don't mind my big boot. Oh. You're going to find me wearing this this comfortable dress, which I've been wearing at night. And then, like, I'll just get up and kind of house lounge in it. And then what I do is just take it at that same end where the other one is. And then just be very careful and make sure that you're trying to like make it as even as possible with the other fabric or just take that other fabric and lay it on top because that makes sense um it kind of sort of does sometimes i wonder if i just need more coffee um <laughs> sometimes i do I wonder if I just need more coffee. Uh, I had enough coffee for the day, thank you. I had two big cups of Death Wish coffee in my day, but yeah, this fabric lays out rather well on the table. Um, it really does. And I have no problem working with this fabric. I've worked with all sorts of different fabrics, including broadcloth. Broadcloth that's very simple to work with. Um, I've had no problems with broadcloth. A lot of people can't work with broadcloth because they find it to be too stiff. But it depends on what you want to use it for. Really does. Um, now for traditional Native American styles and using broadcloth, um, broadcloth is used for making, um, a lot of um, shawls it is blankets I'm gonna have to cut this a lot more even but um, it is made for using a blanket I will I'll cut a lot more even right here because that is so not even at the end so let me do that real quick I do not like an uneven end on my cut and I see where like that is totally not even so I need to have an even cut on the end of my fabric here And then I'll make it more even here in a few, but, um, 
because when this goes to hit the machine, uh, we need to have this as even as possible. Uh, because I am going to use that one hour dress pattern basically for this. And that's why I need this to be as even as possible. And when I saw Morgan Donner doing the one hour dress, I was like, oh my gosh, that one hour dress pattern is basically the same pattern as doing a Native American dress. And nobody really, you know, thinks about, you know, the similarities between design and design concept. So I'm glad that nationalities can share a design concept and be proud of it. Be proud of who you are and the fact that we can share a design and be proud of this. Be proud of who you are and the fact that we can share a design concept. And I'm proud that I can share this with all of you out there. And this and being of the powwow world. Um, and I'm sharing this with all of you. And then I'm going to turn it this way. Because I need it this way. Because this is the seaming. And then this is the front. And I'm not touching the front portion because, you know, we'll have the collar and we'll have the bottom, however it may be. Now this one for, oh my gosh, I wanted to say this year, I wanna cry. I wanna cry. Um, because I can't governmentally tell you everything. Um, but we're not going to cry. All right, we're going to go forward. Um, but I want to cry. Because there was no powwow this year. Um. And you guys think, okay, everything affects you. Everything affects you, everything affects you. And a lot of people have left out the tribes. And um, if it wasn't for the tribes, a lot of people that came to America wouldn't have known a lot without the tribes. And a lot of people just leave the tribes out. Okay, I'm just going to say that. I don't hate on people. That's not me. I can't do that. And it's the same way with the tribes. We don't hate on people. We love teaching. Um... But at the same time, we would also like people to know that what affects you also affects us. Um, I'm sorry. Um, it does, it affects us as much as it affects you. And, um, let, let me get my measuring tape. Um, I believe I need her to go 22 inches across for, for here. Just, just for here. Um, a lot of people seem to forget that. That, uh, what affects you affects us. 
because you live on our original land and um, yeah, you know, so, and I'm, I'm going to count the scrap here as part of this. I could cut that if I want, but right now I'm not going to. So yeah, what affects you also affects the tribes as well. Um, so yeah, that, that goes across the shoulder. Let me go over and get a chalk. So we're gonna chalk mark that. We'll do that right about because I also need to mark that right here and then 22 goes out into 14 which is right here and that's also where I can start marking to where the neckline should start so um yeah so i can ship that out for the neckline and um then also right here because i want to make sure i have enough down to uh the shoulder to uh you guys will totally understand my markings in a little bit for the uh, gusset for for the sleeving and everything okay oh uh, so it'll perfectly make sense so uh, so yeah a lot of people really don't think what really affects the tribes and um it's pretty darn sad because when people came to america originally um our people showed kindness and as i'm speaking to you i'm going to go ahead and remeasure because my weight fluctuates due to my thyroid and like I noticed I got puffy, and so I remeasure myself sometimes. I'll go 45 on that. You know, it's 44. Um, and so, okay. So that should be fine. And then we take down to here, just fine. So I'm taking a down measurement and that is now I know my inseam measurement is a 39. So if we take an inseam measurement but make that longer, we're taking a 39 measurement and then we're taking that a little longer. That actually takes it almost down to where I have it, which will be fine. Because I can take that up as I go. Uh, which is fine because I have three, three and a half yards of this and I'm not having to worry about the bottom of this now. I can just go ahead and mark that off if I really want to do that. So that'll be the, uh, 
the gusset out from here. So we can go ahead and gusset mark that. Now, traditionally, there would be a, a gusset anyway. And that's why I said when I watched, um, when I watched the one hour dress that you made, it's like, that is so Native American. Oh my gosh. Because there's a gusset. Girl, there's so a gusset in our dress. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and lay in a marking for the gusset. And we'll lay it out this way as well. Because traditionally, a Native American gusset will hang this way. Our gussets don't necessarily hang this way. They hang, I mean, hang this way. They will hang down. They will sway down. And that is a traditional gusset. Now, um, a traditional sleeve is the way I have it on there. So, it's like you will literally leave the top half of the sleeve in the way I have it on my original, which is you uh, make the sleeve from here to here, where I have it here, and then you don't close it off. You do not close it off. You just leave it open. And that's perfectly fine, and it's great. Um, and sorry for me crying. Um, like, everybody's saying, oh, this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and... Then they leave out the tribes. I'm gonna sit over here for a minute. Um, um, I hope you guys can still hear me even though I'm sitting over here. Um, the history of the tribes and what it means to do traditional sewing and sewing circle and then not really having too many people to do that anymore. Traditionists getting lost. Um, being able to have people in traditional sewing circle is getting lost. Um, bead work wasn't something that we had Shells, yes. Feathers, yes. Um, beads, no. Beads did not come in until the colonists. Buck hide did not come in until the colonists. I might grab my chair. That way I can just sit over here near you guys. So let me go ahead and grab my chair instead. Um, that way I'm closer. Sorry guys, I'm not trying to be a wuss. Um, I'm just trying to be more with you than without you. Um, and teach you more, bring you, um, closer to the, uh, culture. And, uh, bring you more into learning as I promise you I would teach you and promise you I <laughs> am doing today so I will get this cut I am tired I didn't have a good night um my face twitched last night and I had a seizure so I will get this cut out Oh, I know how I need to do this. This will be cut for the one hour dress pattern. Then I will take a nap because that will be needed. Um, <laughs> and then we will put this on the machine 
The gusset part, the gusset part will need to be hand stitched and then pulled in. But will that be done with sinew? No. No, no. That part will be done by hand with a strong uh, threading. Now, sinew, which I happen to have over here. Let me go get that artificial sinew and show it to you. Um, which I keep over here. See, like, the, uh, the fabric dresser still comes in handy. It's over here. Uh, this is a roll of artificial sinew. Um, uh, sorry, it's like, I got upset and now I'm a little tired. Um, tradition is getting lost and um, it's really sad that Native American tradition is getting lost in time because uh, not a lot of people want to go out and learn our traditions and you know, it just seems like a lot of people are like, oh, well, they're not around anymore. And I unfortunately ran across a few people that thought that, you know, all Native Americans are dead. And, you know, that's not true. Who lives on the 304 Native American reservations then? Um... Now, I got these goat hides. Yes, goat hides. They're Ralph Lauren. Now, I got these from Fabric Mart. They don't sell them anymore. Please don't hate on Fabric Mart for this. Um, and this is what my test moccasins will be made out of. Is this beautiful goat hide. It, it is beautiful. This is very thin. And this is why I said my test moccasins will be made out of this. I feel that maybe I could get at least, mm, I would say two foot tops out of one, if not one moccasin out of this one and one moccasin out of this one so we will see what i can get out of each hide which would be great okay um so this can be a whole thing now also don't forget um fabric mart still has their panel challenge going on this is the second dress that I did for the Fabric Mart panel challenge, which I did enter or I would not have this fabric. And the first one I did is sitting over here. Um, sorry, I just like, I started to cry and I wore myself out and I shouldn't have done that. Um, I'm just like, I'm really sad that there's there's all this fighting out there and there's all this, 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 this and that and I, I am really wishing that humanity would really realize that there is a human race And I feel sorry for people's souls. Um, maybe this is because I was blessed with the medicine bag of shamanism. And I feel like there's a lot of souls out there. And 
not showing appreciation. Towards what you have. Um, towards what you should be appreciating in, in life. Um, a lot of you do appreciate things in life, and that's really awesome. And not a lot of us have a lot, and I have to save for what I have. And I have looked for bargains in order to be able to afford it. These skins were not cheap by any means. These are um, $60 skins, and I got them for $14 each. Okay, $14 each. Um, but I saved my money and put it aside. Um, that $200 I put aside for the fabric. Anything that I want, I put money aside. I don't just go out and spend my money. I put my money aside for it. Um, and uh, what a lot of people don't understand about the tribes is there is no check. There is no magic check for being Native American. It doesn't work. Like that, that, that's not how it works. Um, we're segregated. We're segregated from everybody else. It hurts me to see, um, it hurts me to see what's going on. All this baiting hurts me to see what's going on because there's so much out there. And it hurts, it hurts to see that there's so much hate and then there's so much history lost, and no one pays attention to the lost history. I'm hoping my tissues here. I have to, excuse me, I have to get my tissue. There's just a, a lot of lost history out here where people seem to forget that Native Americans were killed. you could live on our land. And then you fight about privilege. And that hurts my soul. Why?
you fight, but you forget our people were killed so you could live on our land. And you forget our people were moved to concentration camps so that you could live on our land. And there's a movie coming out and I saw the preview and it's so wrong. Um, and it's so wrong. I saw the man dressed as a Native American. And his regalia is not right. His hair is not in tradition. His weapon is not in tradition. He should have been using a Tadanka jaw as a tomahawk. He should not have been wielding an axe. He should know. Where was his Tadanka jaw? As a tomahawk. Why have you all forgotten? That if it wasn't for the tribes, if it wasn't for the tribes, I was called dirty at the grocery store. If it wasn't for the tribes, the colonists, when they first got here, wouldn't have known what to eat. The colonists wouldn't have had lodging. You wouldn't have known what was drinkable for water. But you forced our people into your way. You forced our children into your ways and cut their hair off. You forced all of us to speak English and forget our languages. Our languages are not all us. yet you all want to be out there a majority of you want to be out there trying to say only this 
only this, only that, only this, only that. Why can't it be everyone? It, it hurts my soul. What affects all of you affects the tribes. And the world forgets that. The tribes are sovereign on our own land. This, this is our land and most of it was taken away. And I'm not going to let my tears hit. This is expensive. <laughs> they stopped selling this. But um, it's the only pieces I was able to get my hands on. Can't let it get ruined. Thank you, Fabric Mart. Um... I will cut this out today. Um, I meant to have this to be really cheery. But there was this nice black man. Let me get my tissue again. I want to leave that off the camera. Nice black guy at the grocery store. Right. And I go there the other day in my regalia. And he tells me, I told you guys this in a video, he tells me he got suspended for three months from his job at a radio station because he spoke about the president and uh, let me put this over here and he got suspended I don't think that's right maybe he spoke nice about him and they didn't like it I, I don't know. I didn't ask him. Um, a lot of people are for the president. Um, and then they lose their job. But do, do, let me ask you a question. Do you think it's right that a sovereign nation is forgotten? And we have less rights than you do. And we have to fight. And, and I'm sorry, but we have to fight to have a voice. We have to fight to have a voice. And this is how it is. We have to fight to have a voice. We have to fight to be heard. We're not heard. Why are we not heard? We don't matter to you. And as much as we try, as much as we try, as much as we try, we love everybody, but we are not heard. Do 
the government put our people in the worst land ever. And once they discover that there's these minerals on the worst land ever to try to keep plant life from growing from farming and being able to be prosperous on this land. They decide they want to move the people to another land because there's these minerals. And they, they want to commit more genocide to the native people. Um, you tell me where that's right. Is that right? Is that right? Is that right? You, you want to tell me when, why there's actually no, th th and this is true, there has never been a signed treaty between the tribes and the U.S. government. Never, never been a signed peace treaty between the tribes and the U.S. government. And why? Because our people have been murdered. Our people have been used, abused. Forced to do unspeakable things to this day. Without jobs, because God forbid you hire Native American. Oh my gosh, God forbid you have to hire a Native. You'll be like, oh, but the movies. I explain to you about the movies. This, this is going to be a little longer than usual. You'll have to excuse that. And I didn't mean to break down on you. Um, but maybe it's about time somebody did. This is really sad. You're all out there, and what are you fighting about? What are you, what are you fighting about? And then you want to push this narrative of oh, these people and these people. Have you done your research? I want to know how many of you out there have done your research on your own. Have you done your research? And I'm asking you peacefully, have you done your research? Anyway, I'm going to get this cut out. Um, so the one hour dress is basically going to be the pattern, um, for this piece, um, uh, that's basically what it's going to be, uh, so the collar piece I'm not really worried about, that can stay straight, uh, Marking it for the sleeve for right here, down to here, where there will be a gusset. It's basically my, making an eye. 
I dropped that. Why did I drop that? I have no idea why I dropped that. Um, go ahead and grab this again. So, measure from, and let me stand to do this. I have to sit down for a little bit, but let me stand to at least do this portion so that I can get it from here, basically here to here, to the hip. I'm going to go 19, which I don't know if that's going to be right, but. 19, so I'm going to take that in right about, and I'm going to go right here. So I'm going to go right here. I like that right there. At a diamond, right? Diamond. I go best friend. And I'm sorry for crying, but... I, I'm just like heartbroken on people's behavior lately. That'll be the gusset that comes out and down. And then we can cut on that. Okay, good. Let's do that before I end. Okay. Well, cut. I'm going to sit down to cut because I can do that now. I can. Makes it easier for me. I'm working on like come right here. We're going to go right in the center of this. And what I just thought of, wait, now what that other fabric looks like. We're in luck though. It's an even match. We are. We are in luck. And then turn and go. Remember, you have to give this some seam allowance, and that's what I'm doing. That diamond is the seam allowance. Like I said, I'm sorry that I cried, but it hurts my heart and my soul to see so many petty people out here. So many petty people thinking, oh, this and that and this and that. It really hurts me when you forget true history. See, this chair helps. This chair really helps. You forget that without the tribes, without the tribes, then cut. 
cut straight to this diamond right here now. Okay. And then I'm going to end this video because I have to pin stuff. And I forgot to grab my pins. Okay. But I'm going to curve this. Okay. Um, so let's, you guys know I always give a life lesson, okay? Um, you do, you know I always give a life lesson. Uh, I can turn this into something. I, you guys know I always use my scrap of fabric or something. Um, and then I always give a life lesson. I want you guys to remember a lot in history that you tend to forget about. Um, the land you live on used to be somebody's sacred ground for other things, okay? It used to be our ceremonial grounds for dance. It used to be our ceremonial grounds for burial. And that was taken away from us. And you live on that now. And that right was taken away from us. Be able to live free. It's taken away. And there's so many people out here that live free. And you take that granted. And then what I saw in the grocery store, those two young girls taking advantage of a guy and the not understanding that he was going to be taking advantage of them. Why do you do that? Why do you do that? I would like to know why do you do that? What makes you do that? What makes you think that is okay? even this out. Sorry, it's my OCD. I have to even this out. It has to be even before it goes on the machine. I'm sure there's a lot of us that do that.
it starts to be trimmed better, but it's better than what it was. Then I can roll and pin, but it's a lot better than what it was. But do you tell me, why do you do that? Why do you take advantage of other people? You know it isn't right. And then you say that you are a Christian. Christianity was forced on the tribes. Anyway, I would like for all of you To see with your heart and your soul. And stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and always stay blessed. And I will see you for the rest of this in a little while, okay?